Welcome to Electron Online. So here are the next two examples of how to manage finding the value for x. And so looking at our first one, ah, right away we can see that we have the outside arc and the inside arc, and we know that uh, the measure, uh, let's put another point in here, we have A, B, C. We probably want to put a point there. Notice that the 246 degrees is the arc length from A to B on the outside. So how do we find the value for the inside? Well, we know that the measure for the arc length from A to B on the inside is equal to 360 degrees minus the 246 degrees, which is equal to 114 degrees. So we can right away plug that value in here. That makes it a little bit easier. All right. And we can also say, well, I'll keep that here. We can also say that the measure, uh, well, actually, I can just write the x value. That makes it easier. So let's do that. So the value for x is equal to one half the arc length of the outside arc. So we can say the measure from A to C to B minus the measure on the inside from A to B. All right, that means that this is equal to one half times the measure on the outside is 246 degrees minus the measure on the inside, which is 114 degrees, Oop, 114 degrees. And so that would be 332. That would be 300 and, whoa, is that right? I'm wrong, not 300, going the wrong direction. Not adding, I'm subtracting. So it's 132 degrees, 132 degrees. So we take half of that, oops, times one half. Can't forget the one half. There we go. And so therefore the value for x, x degrees equals half of that, which is 66 degrees. And that's the value for that angle right there. So that's very straightforward. How about the one over here? All right, what we can say here is that this is x degrees. This makes, that's the diameter of the circle. So that's a semicircle right here. That means that this is 180 degrees. And this value right here would be 180 degrees minus x degrees. So now we can say that the measure or the 29 degree angle, we could simply say the 29 degree angle is equal to one half the measure of the outside arch, which is um, the measure of A to C, like this, minus the measure from B to C. That, that's the best way to write it. All right, so that means that 29 degrees is equal to one half times the measure from A to C is 180 degrees minus x degrees minus the measure from b to c which is x degrees and then we simply have to solve that equation for x so first of all we multiply both sides by 2 so we get 58 degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus we can combine those 2x degrees so i can move this over here and that over there so 2x degrees that becomes positive when we move it to the other side is 180 degrees minus 52 degrees that becomes negative oh not 52 58 58 degrees because that moves to the other side it becomes negative and so let's continue over here. So that means we have two times x degrees is equal to 180 minus 58, that's 122. And so therefore divide both sides by two, we get x degrees equals 61 degrees. And that's how we find the other value for x. Again, we're using the very same equation, except we solve for x in a slightly different way. And that is how it's done.